navigate home. Oh, it's actually going over to this other lane. Okay, so it's gonna take, this is going to be very interesting. I'd say that is a great success right there. Okay, and getting into the right turn lane. Perfect, this is exactly where we need to go. Nice, well done there. Yes, oh, that's great. Yes, that was perfect. Hey everybody, John here. I thought I'd try a different setup with the cameras just to see if it improves the whole experience so you can see behind me. So I'm gonna set up my phone and hopefully I can, can get some feedback from all of you guys so you can let me know if you like it better or worse or what your thoughts are. I kinda like having the person's face in the video, uh, but that's just me, but I don't think everybody does, so this may be a little bit more useful. Unfortunately, it's a little bit tricky to get a camera back there, but we're gonna do our best. All right, here we are. So we're dialed in. I'm gonna go ahead and double tap down and the car takes off. We're gonna see how well it does. It's gonna be a short little trip here. Should be interesting so everybody can see now exactly how annoyed people get behind me. <laughs> if there is anybody that comes up behind me. It is uh, six o'clock p.m. on a Thursday, so I'm not anticipating really that heavy of a traffic pattern, but we'll see. So here it needs to get in the left turn lane, doing very well. Yes, this is exactly where it needs to go and turning on its left turn signal. So a lot of people are going to the Giga Texas Grand Opening. I think they're calling it the Rodeo. I really wanted to go. I did not book a flight because I did not get an invite. I think there are some people that are going that did not get invited. Uh, good luck to them. I hope they get in. I uh, didn't want to take that risk. And also, <laughs> Things are awfully expensive these days to travel. I just realized, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to New York. Okay, here we are turning left. Okay, nobody behind us, as you can see. And it did very well uh, getting into the middle lane here. And, oh, it's actually going over to this other lane. Okay, so it's going to take... This is going to be very interesting. It's going to go over here and then turn left. Okay, so usually I go up to the light to turn left. It's cutting through a neighborhood here to do this. So this is going to be a very, very difficult left turn up here. We're gonna, it's an unprotected left turn. There is no traffic signal. Uh, but no, I was just commenting that I'm gonna head to New York later in June and just realizing that that's gonna cost me probably close to $2,000 just for a week. It's gonna be two to $3,000 uh, in accommodation, food, uh, sightseeing, all that stuff combined. So prices have gone up a lot. I think it's really difficult for a lot of people. So here we are, this is a divided highway. There is a median. Uh, so we are at a stop sign and I don't have a camera, a 360 camera, but now you can see somebody is right behind us. So I'm already liking this rear view camera setup. Okay, so it is um, stepping on the, on the accelerator, actually the brake pedal, ever so slightly kind of creeping forward i'll turn on this light down here so you can see okay so it is going for it it is clear it's taking its time okay so you can see the pedals here i am not doing anything the car did that all on its own uh, i i'd say that is a great success right there now granted uh, it cleared up we got lucky the traffic cleared up so it could make that move without any problems so here we are, it's a 45 mile per hour road and it's going 45. I think previously it, we, it was 40 and now it's 45. So you'll see it'll bump up to 50 miles per hour. And we have a straightaway on this road here for a little ways. I wanna say we have about a, about a 10 minute path on this road here. Ooh, we're coming up on a Model Y right in front of us. And um, yeah, no, no, it's, it's, it's actually cooled off quite a bit. So today it's 37 degrees. I think it's actually colder than that. It's snowing out if you can see the snowflakes. So that's been a little bit <laughs> discouraging given that it's March 31st. Uh, I would like a little bit warmer weather right now, but uh, hey, you know, we take it as it comes here in the Midwest. I, it is kind of nice to have it cool. You, I sleep a lot better at night when it's cold outside, but um, I am a night owl, so in the middle of the night, it does get a bit cold. Uh, so I have to turn on a lot of heaters at night, which is really annoying. I mean, we could heat the whole house, but it just doesn't make sense. So anyway, I'm rambling here, but as you can see, I've got a Tesla behind me and a Tesla in front of me. So <laughs> I, I've been seeing a lot more Teslas on the roads. 
And the reason why I think is because there's a Schaumburg dealer really close to my house. So uh, I think a lot more people are getting cars in this area. All right, this trip is going very well so far. No issues, really. Uh, I haven't annoyed anybody. <laughs> so that's my biggest worry. And I think I actually like this back camera setup because now you can see kind of what I go through when beta is awkward with other people behind. And that seems to be a recurring theme for me is just trying to take care of, of, of uh, people behind me. People in front of me, I don't, I don't really, I'm not concerned about that because the car is more safe than it is unsafe. But certainly the cars behind me, for those that don't know, there does need to be a little bit of caution. That's why I do have a bumper sticker. Considering having a custom bumper sticker made, the one that I have now is not that easy to understand if you don't know what FSD beta means because it says FSD beta robo taxi in training. I think a more appropriate sticker might be, please be patient, car is learning to drive, or something along those lines. Okay, and getting into the right turn lane. Perfect, this is exactly where we need to go. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be able to find its way to the restaurant. I'm picking up some pizza here. Okay, coming in here, it does need to go left. Okay, getting in the left turn lane. Very good, and as you can see, nobody behind us. Okay, there is no stop sign here. We have the right of way. Nice, well done there. Okay, and now we've got some cars in the parking lot. A little bit busy here in this parking lot tonight. And it's interesting, it's almost like it wants to go around this car, so we're right in the middle of the lane. Okay, now it realized it needed to get to the right there okay coming up to this stop sign okay stopping good and going forward well done all right and we are here all right this is the exciting part for me to see if it can get out of this parking lot oops someone's coming i'll go ahead and let them come go ahead all right Go passing by. All right, here we go. So all I need to do is, first of all, dial in my destination. So rather than dialing it in, I'm just gonna tell the car where to go. So we'll go ahead and put it in drive and I'll throw this over to here. Navigate home. There we go. All set to go, just double tap down. Okay, like I said, this is the exciting part. We're gonna see if it can get me home. Okay, hesitating here a little bit, no traffic. And going through this parking lot, a lot of cars here parked. All right, great. Coming up to another four-way stop here. All right, and slowing down here as well, and then going through here. Interesting, this is not the path that I would have taken, uh, but I'm assuming it knows where it's going here. Okay, coming on up here, going really slow in here. So it's 15 miles per hour and it is going 12 for some reason. Okay, the right turn signal goes on. And coming up here and stopping. Now, I cannot see to the left. I don't know if there are any cars. So it says autopilot creeping forward, checking for visibility. Sure enough, there are some cars coming. This is where a 360 camera would come in handy. I will have to try to pick one of those up at some point. Okay, and creeping forward and going for it. There we go coming out okay actually I think this is the correct way to come out because 
if you go out the other way, I don't think you can turn left. So I'm pretty sure that was the right thing to do. Okay, left turn signal is on, and now we're, we are waiting. There we are, green arrow. Beautiful, moving forward. Apply slight turning force to the steering wheel. That's always frustrating when it asks you for feedback on the steering wheel in the middle of a turn. And it does that quite often. I'm sure everybody else who's testing beta is also having that happen. So that feedback is always required. I think eventually when the algorithm with the in-cabin camera gets good enough to track driver attentiveness, I think at that stage, we won't have to constantly be doing this steering wheel nag. People call it a nag. You know, they want some torque on the steering wheel. Um, but I have done quite a bit of tests with the in-cabin camera, and you can see those uh, linked up above. I'll, I'll include a little bit of a shortcut, but basically the cameras are looking at your eyes, and they're also looking at the position of your head. And if you look away from the road, I have found that you can only get away with doing that for seven seconds. If you go for eight seconds or more, then you will get a message. So for those that are new to the beta program, if you get uh, if you get three of those please pay attention to the road messages uh, within a short period of time or distance, you will get a strike. And then if you get five strikes, that's a strike out and then beta is removed from your vehicle. So just be aware of that. Okay, so there's nobody behind us. This is the best scenario for full self-driving. And we are in the far left lane, uh, which is fine. We will have to turn right up here, but pretty straightforward drive. Not too much traffic here tonight. And it's pretty much straight, you know, going on this road for the majority of the trip here. So now we do have a vehicle in back of us. See, now here in front of us, this car has a sticker. It says, patience, please student driver. I also thought of having a sticker like that. I also thought baby on board or maybe baby I, baby AI on board. <laughs> I think I think that would be kind of clever. Um, baby on board is uh, a, a nice way of telling people to back off and not tailgate you. All right, so it is going to be uh, taking the light. So we're gonna come up to this light. I am going to purposefully intervene here. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm just gonna, to make this a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna manually force it down this road instead. And we're gonna do an unprotected left turn. So now that it's rerouted, I'll go ahead and turn it back on. Okay, there we go. So up here, it's gonna make a left turn and we'll see how it does. This is a fairly busy road. So this is golf road that we're coming up to. Okay, slowing down. Okay, looking for some feedback on the steering wheel there. Okay, creeping forward a little bit. There is quite a bit of traffic on the left. Now I cannot see because there's a fence and I really honestly can't see. It's not far enough out for my eyes. And there's quite a bit of traffic on the right side as well. So now, as you can see, somebody is coming up behind us. So this is the moment where it just gets really uncomfortable for me. Okay, so it needs to creep forward a little bit more. Now I know for a fact that there's too many cars coming right now. It's definitely not the right timing. And I can see that because there's a good stream of traffic. So there's a sliver of time or a, just a little space where, okay, so now creeping forward a little bit more. Okay, now I can see a little bit better beyond this fence. And this car behind me is respecting my patience here because this is a, a tricky left turn okay so now it is clear on the left going slowly yes oh that's great yes that was perfect 
Well done, well done, yes, okay, going to the right. Got to get over three lanes, one, come on, two, late, 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 okay, good thing there's no other cars, and come on, three, okay, oh, pushing it to the limit on that one, all right, <laughs> and turning right here, uh, I did it, but barely, all right, that was not a bad drive, uh, it, it definitely was interesting for me. I think that last bit was the most interesting. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate your support. I'll see you in the next video.